Well, the search continues for a woman believed to have been kidnapped by her boyfriend. And last night, JSO issued an alert involving a reported carjacking of a woman identified as Marsha Ann Higgins, who may have also been held against her will by her boyfriend. He's identified as Bradley Chilton. News of Jack's reporter Eric Avignier is joining us live now from JSO headquarters with the very latest information on this suspected kidnapping case. Eric? Yes, well, last night, uh, investigators here at JSO headquarters say the couple uh, were likely traveling in a four-door silver Toyota Scion with Tennessee license plates. Well, it just so happens earlier today, we received video from one of our viewers that showed what appeared to be the same car police are looking for. Take a good look at Marsha Ann Higgins and her boyfriend, Bradley Chilton. If you have seen them or come across them, you are urged to call 911 because police say Higgins may be in danger from her boyfriend. Wednesday night, someone whom Jacksonville police are not identifying contacted authorities and filed a complaint, stating Higgins and Chilton were traveling in a silver four-door Toyota Scion that had Tennessee plates. At the time, police said the couple may possibly be staying in the Jacksonville Beach area. According to Chilton's Facebook page, he lives in Jacksonville Beach. And a post on Higgins' Facebook page suggests the couple were in Jack's Beach together on Sunday. But the couple is yet to be found. Shortly after 8 a.m. Thursday, Jacksonville police issued an update saying they received information that the couple were in Volusia County Wednesday night and their vehicle may have different Tennessee tags. On Thursday, a viewer sent us this cell phone video that was recorded Wednesday on Edgewood Avenue. Notice the car is identical to the car police were looking for. It has Tennessee plates that are different from the original plates that were first reported. The viewer who sent us this video says it appears two people were fighting inside. Now, although it hasn't been confirmed by JSO, the viewer who sent us that video believes that is, in fact, the same vehicle JSO was looking for. Reporting live from JSO headquarters, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.